Go for it. Um, so yeah, eCloud is a, it's a dynamic, uh, living sculpture really. It's driven by live weather data, which is pulled from the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association website, which is basically like a government site that supplies weather data for cities all over the world. Um, real time updated every 20 minutes or so. We, we pull it as often as we can. We translate that data into the animations, the movements, the, 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 the stuff that you see on this cloud here, this virtualized cloud. We wanted to create a piece that um, you know was obviously designed for this space. It's very uh, site specific, but also that um, it really kind of gets at the essence of traveling. Something that's always new every time you see it. Um, you know, if you come in the morning versus the afternoon, it's going to look different too, just because it picks up on the ambient light that comes into this very beautifully you know lit and bright environment of the airport uh, design. Um, it's made of these eight-inch tiles, they're almost like pixels, but of this material called a liquid crystal glass, and it's a thin film of material between two pieces of, uh, of acrylic, polycarbonate and plastic, that can change from white to clear with a signal of low voltage electricity. So we give it a little signal and it turns clear, and it lines up all of the crystals in a way that you can see through it. And when you take the signal away, they reorient randomly and it turns white. So that's the, the physics of what's happening. And right now, you can see it's, it's entirely clear because we're looking at a city where there's, it's clear. There's, there's no, no sun and you can, or no, no clouds. Boise. And it's Boise, Idaho, and it tells, it'll tell you kind of what's happening. Sometimes there'll be a little bit happening when it's clear. And every 45 seconds, it moves to a new city. So if you're here for an hour, you'll see, you can see 80. So you can see it just filled up now. It looks like overcast or, or mostly cloudy. cloudy. Mostly cloudy. And you can see it's very dense, and, and again, these animations are all, um, they're, they're generative algorithmic an animations, so even if we have mostly cloudy weather from another city later, it will be a similar behavior, but we never reproduce the same actual occurrence twice, you know, like we really have in nature, right? So it's a, it's a, a generative piece in that sense. Um, I worked for, with and for the three artists who kind of came up with the original proposal. I'm a designer um, and, and I managed the project, worked with an electrical engineer from Jet Propulsion Labs in, in uh, NASA Jet Propulsion Labs in Pasadena who designed the circuit boards. Um, and I worked with a fabricator in Los Angeles who does rigging for architecture and they built the piece. And then I worked with uh, several programmers and the three artists, you know, all bringing that all together into this kind of pretty complex um, piece.